how HTML5 js geolocation works. Nowadays whether you have a mobile device, a tablet or a laptop you can easily find out the location of this uh, specific device using geolocation support in HTML5 js. Uh, HTML5 uh, and js uh, existing uh, implicit object of navigator which has this geolocation APIs available which internally uses the location service of the uh, inside the device itself this location service can be of uh, different uh, you know can be from the different uh, uh, providers it may be from the google or the apple it depends on what kind of device that you are using let's quickly go through the navigator dot uh, uh, geolocation object which is uh, supported in the javascript right now this is the page where if on the right hand side if you see there is a button called give me location coordinates now as soon as i click on this button it will give me the coordinate of the specific device where it is being executed now up there for the button class i am just invoking a function called get location now inside the get location i am using the get current position which which has two uh, callback functions one for the show position and one is the show error now show position is my success function where in case if i get the location properly it's going to get called and the show here is something that in case if I get some issue, I will be uh, having this. Now, show this is a black box function which is a uh, get current position. Now, internally, it's using my location service to find out the location of my device. Now, you see that as soon as I click on the button, now it's returning me the proper uh, values up there. Get current position is a async function which returns. Um, couple of callback functions and we do have an option uh, to configure this uh, function call you can set the accuracy how accurate the data you want you can also set the maximum age which uh, defines that how fresh the data you want and at the same time you can also set the timeout for that so beside this get current position uh, html5 also has html5js also has another function called watch position which will help you to trace the device uh, you know with with some time gap uh, continuously so that is something you can also use okay so good time to see more illustrations to understand how location services are working and finding out the location of our device so now we understand that each mobile device or it's a lap or it's a laptop or it's a tablet it has its own internal uh, location uh, service whether it's a whether it's a Google or it's a Apple or any other company but it has its own geolocation service which is available inside our device which continuously works to find out what kind of location this this uh, specific device is having right now uh, now as far as this location services are concerned there are different ways to find out uh, the location for your device it may either uh, you know based on the kind of options that you're giving whether you want the accuracy whether you want the data pretty fast accordingly it will behave and give you the uh, uh, give you the locations okay so as i explained that google location service is one of the service for the android devices and similarly for the apples uh, skyhook is one location service which provides a location for all the apple devices that you have now these location services have their own internal uh, intelligence to find out based on what kind of uh, uh, data that is being provided what what is the what is the best optimum way to find out the location of a device right now the first is the gps uh, with, as we all know that it's a straight away we communicate with the satellite and uh, we find out the location of the of uh, of our device a question comes how gps works GPS is the way I said. GPS is a freely available positioning service provided by the by US, but uh, other countries are also having similar kind of uh, positioning services available. Like Russia is also having its own. Even India is having its own uh, uh, positioning services. Now, as far as the GPS is concerned, there are 24 satellites around the Earth, which continuously maintain, continuously you know, uh, keep uh, watching what location that you are having I mean let's say if you are just moving it from one point to point A to point B uh, at, at one time there would be somewhere around six different satellites which can see you and based on these six different satellites 
and how much time it takes to transmit the signal from satellite to your mobile and from your mobile device back to the satellite it just calculates based on that what location that you have on the earth and as the number of satellites increases uh, the position that the mobile gives is more and more accurate so GPS is one option and the most uh, accurate option available for the location services to find your device uh, device position but beside that uh, the first option what cell tries is the cell tower triangulation uh, method now this is a method where we have different uh, you know uh, cell tower communications and wherever you are uh, you know we have a different uh, cell towers which catches the signals from your cell and just trying to locate yourself among them so in case if more than three uh, such cell towers are you know you are in the range of uh, these three cell towers uh, based on how fast the signal is uh, you know getting received by these uh, cell towers it will try to find out the distance of uh, of your device from the known location of the cell tower so in case if you have three such tower information of the distance available you can easily find out the way from the top view that it, it's 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 more clear that uh, what location it can be so in case if we have two uh, cell towers you have a bigger uh, area where you can be but in case if the number of towers uh, which uh, overlaps the signals more and more it will give you more accurate result for you so at least three towers you need to find out some uh, specific uh, you know at least some uh, specific uh, accuracy in the results but uh, even from the one cell also it will find out your distance but the distance would be in miles so that will not be that much accurate okay so there are other options as well to find out the location like uh, the Wi-Fi access system or your wire IP address but again the IP address is being used for used by the cell tower uh, triangulation as well we pretty much covered uh, how uh, the geolocation for HTML5 JS uh, works uh, uh, deep right to the location services. How internally it uses the different uh, ways, whether it's the cell triangulation or the GPS or the Wi-Fi access points. So, thank you all very much. I hope uh, this helps. Thank you.